Unity's existing particle system allows developers to create effects with thousands of particles running simultaneously. The new visual effect graph, on the other hand, promises millions of particles running on the GPU at once. Today, we're going to test the limits of VFX graph by creating a portal effect made entirely out of particles. This probably isn't something you would use in a game, but it's a fun experiment to see how well VFX graph runs in practice. We'll be using the Universal Render Pipeline and Visual Effect Graph, both of which need to be downloaded using the Package Manager before starting. We'll be creating an effect which generates 1 million particles a second, but you might need to scale the numbers down based on your hardware. The portal frame I'm using is from Sketchfab, and I'll link it in the description alongside a GitHub repository for the project. We're going to generate particles on the edge of a ring running around the edge of the portal frame, and give them a velocity aiming inwards towards the centre, with just enough lifetime that they reach the centre and die. Start off by creating a new VFX graph by right clicking in the project window, choosing Create, Visual Effects, Visual Effect Graph, name it something like Portal, double click to bring up the VFX graph window. By default, there are a lot of blocks we don't need. From the initialized particle context, we'll remove the set velocity random and set lifetime random blocks, since we'll be controlling those properties in other ways. Also remove the set size over life block from the output particle quad context, because we won't need it. To remove a block, left click to select it and hit the delete key. We should be left with a fairly empty graph. Let's start by tweaking the output particle quad context. We won't need to add any new blocks here, the only modification we'll make is to change the main texture from default particle to default particle system. This texture is just a circle with smooth edges. Next we'll give the particle system a shape and start spawning a lot more particles. To add a block, press the spacebar inside a context and type its name. In the initialized particle context, add a set lifetime block and set the lifetime to 5 seconds. Also make sure you set the size to something much smaller like 0.0045, if you don't, you'll encounter a lot of slowdown when we set the constant spawn rate in the spawn context to 1 million per second. For all of those to be visible at once, multiply the lifetime by the spawn rate to get 5 million, and set that as the capacity. You still probably have a lot of slowdown because each particle is being drawn at the same point, so we'll add a position circle block to the initialized particle context. This allows us to set the initial position of each particle in a circle pattern. If you expand the arc circle drop down, then the circle drop down, we can set the radius to 1.1. Now we can move the particle system into place and it will intersect the portal frame nicely. All that's left to do in the initialized particle context is to set the particles in motion towards the center. The best way I've found is to use an add velocity from direction and speed spherical block. It applies velocity in a sphere, so we can set the center to 0, 0, 0 and the speed to a negative value of around minus 0.22 and the particles would just about reach the center without overshooting. Finally, we have the update particle context. We want the particles to be a lot more colourful, so add a set colour over life block. Open up the colour gradient editor and set whatever colours you think look best here. I've gone with an alpha of about 128 for the whole effect to make it look softer, and I use HDR colours for a bit of extra brightness. I start off with a purple hue with an HDR intensity of 4.2, to a blue with intensity 3, to a darker blue with intensity 0. By the end, the effect has a light blue also with intensity 0. I forgot to delete the update particle chord context set color over life block earlier, so remove that and your new colors should appear. The final step is to take the soft particles box, then set the blend point to additive rather than alpha. When creating this effect, I thought my computer might struggle to render so many particles, but even in the editor, my GTX 1070 can handle this many particles at around 160 frames per second. In a real game, you distribute this many particles across several particle systems, but it's nice to know that you have this level of power at your disposal for big set pieces. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something about VFX Graph to use in your own games. Thanks especially to my Patreon supporters on screen right now, and everyone else who supports me. See you next time.